Good happy Sunday morning, September 13, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, thousands attend the 26th Hampton Seafood Festival. Saturday was a great day to be on the seacoast eating fresh seafood. The 26th Annual Hampton Seafood Festival runs Friday through Saturday. Organizers expect more than 100,000 people. About 60 food vendors are at the festival serving fresh seafood like lobster, shrimp, and clams, and seafood dishes like New England clam chowder and lobster quadrille. The festival go goers enjoyed live music, took in the fireworks, and watched the lobster roll eating contest on the sea Shell Stage Saturday Night. New Hampshire State Police Throw Carnival for Trooper Fighting Cancer. Hundreds of people came together in Bedford to help a New Hampshire State Trooper. Family and friends held a Celtic-themed carnival Saturday to benefit Lieutenant James Gorty, a 24-year veteran of the New Hampshire law enforcement who is battling a serious form of cancer. Carly Fiorina, back in the Granite State Saturday. Republican presidential candidate Carly Fiorina took another tour of the Granite State Saturday. The former CEO of Howlett Pact attended the Seacoast Republican Women's Chili Fest in Stratum and the Stratford County Barbecue and Beer Bash in Dover. Fiorina spoke to the crowd in Dover about the need for a better veterans health care alignment reform and strong foreign diplomacy. Governor Cassius makes four stops in the Granite State Saturday. Republican Governor John Cassius returned to the Granite State Saturday to push his candidacy for president. The GOP hopeful started the day by participating in the College Republicans North East Leadership Conference at St. Elms College. Cassius then hosted a town hall meeting in Raymond. The Ohio governor also spoke at the Seacoast Republican Women's Chili Fest in Stratum. Senator Ayotte goes on ride-along with Manchester Police. U.S. Senator Kelly Ayotte, R. and Republican New Hampshire, received a first-hand look at the challenges the Manchester Police Department faces on a regular basis. Ayotte is riding along with an officer patrolling the city Saturday 
night. She said she wanted to discuss the heroin epidemic and see what officers are seeing in the streets. Manchester police officers have re responded to 400 drug overdose reports this year. Authorities said many of the cases have been related to heroin or fentanyl use. Ayat will head a field congressional hearing on the epidemic Monday in Manchester. U.S. Senator Jean Shaheen will be there. Derry Boy Saves Family in Car Crash Receives Hero Reward. A Derry Boy was honored with a hero reward and he helped save his family in car crash. The Chester Fire Department honored Joseph Whitney on Saturday for his bravery during a serious car crash last year. The presentation took place the presentation took place at the Chester Fair in front of hundreds of people. Deadly crash in Durham Saturday morning. One person is dead and two people are injured after a car crash in Durham Saturday morning. Nash man arrested after crashing into Nashua utility pole. Police say 34-year-old Belsa Piper was driving under the influence when he crashed into a utility pole Saturday morning. The accident happened at 1.42 a.m. near the intersection of Concord and Stark Street. No word on his injuries. More foxes reported near site of rabies attack. A fox described as looking sick has been spotted near Derry Field, where a rabies fox bit a girl and her father. Increased reward in Manchester murder. Another anonymous donation has raised the reward for information in a Manchester murder to 37,000. Manchester Crime Line announced the increase Saturday. Denise Roberts, 62, was shot and killed in the city's north end on August 29th while taking a walk. Friends and family pooled several thousand dollars to offer a reward and anonymous donation have continued adding to the total. Police investigate Goffstown accident. Police are investigating an accident on East Dunbarton Road. Goffstown police say a car hit a utility pole causing 
nearly 200 outages in the area. Eversource officials say the pole is 45 feet and was snapped in half due to the accident. A spokesperson said all power should be restored by noon Saturday. There is no word on the condition of the driver of the vehicle. Tourism in New Hampshire is enjoying a wonderful 2015. The warm, sunny weather on weekends and holidays, lower gas prices, and an improved economy have made for some of the best times in New Hampshire's tourism business. Four firefighters receive second-degree burns in California wildfire. Four firefighters were injured Saturday as wildfires spread across California and forced evacuations, officials said. And that did it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Sunday. See you back here later. Goodbye.